University City Lab is taking the fight against coronavirus head on, creating more sensitive tests and getting ready to mass produce them. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle shows why this test will be much more comfortable for patients. It took them about two months to get full scale and they were thrilled to show Mayor Faulkner around the lab today. What's going on in the lab right next door here? Today is the development of not one, but two COVID-19 tests. Helix is a population genomics company, which means they examine DNA to understand how genes affect your health. Uh, as we are beginning to reopen our economy, as people are going back to work and doing it safely, one of the things that we have to in make sure that we have enough of is testing. Helix flipped the switch mid-March to focus on creating COVID-19 tests, utilizing the machines they already have in the lab. Most of the lab is automated, making it ideal for rapid and safe production. That testing service can scale to 10,000 samples per day. Their first test will be available next week. Another more sensitive version of the test will be ready this summer and may be available to take it home. It could be sent to individuals, but more likely it's going to be uh, bulk shipped into large collection areas, whether it be distributors or, or uh, places of work, etc. Uh, and then individuals would take their kit, go do the, uh, the necessary swab and then send it straight back. The test works like using a Q-tip to clean out your nose. It doesn't have to reach up as far as other tests, making it more comfortable. The results come back in 24 hours. When it comes to accuracy, CEO Mark Stapley said it's validated through testing and filed with the FDA. In University City, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. Helix is working with hospitals across the state as well as big businesses and local governments.